Dream. What name could cause more distress but simultaneously joy? Who else could have half the viewers of this video singing his praises in the comments while the other half silently writhe in pain? Dream is a very, very interesting character to me. Even if I hadn't seen him progress from a casual Minecraft player to the largest creator in the entire game in just the course of a few years, seeing how people in the community view him is intriguing. Because while Dream has likely the most dedicated fanbase of any single person in the world, he's also one of the most hated, discounting political figures and criminals for what I hope are obvious reasons. Time and time again I see people criticizing and insulting him and his fanbase, sometimes for valid reasons, sometimes not so much. So today, I want to take a not so deep dive into Dream's history and appeal, and at least attempt to give a sort of neutral assessment of the war waged between the MCYT fandom and uh, everyone else. So let's get started. Before we go into why Dream is loved or hated, we have to figure out why Dream at all. Why Dream, who Dream, what Dream, when Dream. Let's start with the when, July 6th of 2019, when Dream posted the first video on his channel, a casual playthrough in the vein of the cursed Minecraft memes that were popular at the time. This wasn't actually the start of Dream, or even the start of him making videos. His channel was created in 2014, he had become decently known in the PvP community for his work as a developer for Invaded Lands, and he even posted several videos of the server to his YouTube channel, though they joined the list of unlisted, private, and deleted Dream videos at some point in the distant past. From the very start, it was clear that Dream had two main interests when making his content. Comedy, which would feature heavily in pretty much all of his future videos, and Education, which would be the basis for his Unsolved Mysteries series. Of course, we can't easily label all of his videos, or his channel as a whole. The manhunts and challenges he does today combine comedy and action, his older mod showcases tended to be mostly the same with a little bit of education thrown in there, and of course, his speedruns were pretty much pure action and skill. Maybe some education too, if you're in a inspiring speedrunner looking to glean some information from his old record. On top of having a good grasp on what makes a video fun to watch, he also knew what got people to click. He started with trends like cursed Minecraft, Mr. Beast style challenges, and so on, then expanded these into the videos he would become known for and still does today. Cursed Minecraft turned into cursed mod showcase, and the Mr. Beast challenges could, arguably, be considered the start of his more recent challenges and manhunts with friends. With both entertainment value and interesting topics that people were looking for, Dream was pretty much destined to succeed. And with his first few videos blowing up and netting him over 40,000 subscribers in just about two weeks, it was clear that luck was on his side as well. All of those factors, combined with consistency and connections to other large Minecraft YouTubers, skyrocketed Dream to the vantage he has today. But none of that would have been possible if Dream wasn't a lovable figure in the first place, so why do people love Dream so much? Yes, his videos can be considered funny or enthralling or interesting, but those qualities all apply to many other creators, not including me, who, you know, aren't the fastest growing YouTuber of all time. What made his videos stand out from the rest? What made Dream special? Well, at first, nothing really. When you look at how Dream started out, most of his viewers were coming not for Dream, but for Dream's videos. It was more about the content than the creator. You can see this happen all the time today, with YouTubers like McYum, Camman18, and so on. Their videos contain most or all of the same elements as Dream's videos used to, and as a result, they've gained a very, very sizable following over a million subscribers each, and get millions if not tens of millions of views on each video. But they're being held back, just like Dream was at the start, because their content is centered more so around whatever topic or idea the video is about, instead of the personality behind it. Just like they can, Dream put in a lot of effort to slowly but steadily work in his own personality, own sense of humor, and own ideas into his videos, while still making sure that they were trendy and modern until eventually he didn't have to anymore. When Dream stopped making trendy videos, his viewers had already stopped watching him for the trends and started watching him for him. For what he brought to the table instead of a gimmick that any number of other YouTubers would and did use in their videos. But what about his style and his brand of content stood out from the rest? Well, it's not easy to pinpoint, especially not being a huge fan of his videos myself. So I hit up my Discord, link in the description, to find some of his fans and see what made his videos stand out to them. 
The answers may shock you. No, they're completely normal. And what I gathered from my research is that there really is no one answer to the question of why Dream's content is entertaining. The first person I asked, Resident Dream fan VVK, said that Dream's content was mostly interesting to him for two main things. Firstly, the suspense, and secondly, the skill. Compared to most other YouTubers doing similar styles of videos, sometimes that's really just not there. Dream does come from a background of more advanced PvP, so it's natural that he would be better than average at it. We also see a lot of people valuing Technoblade for his PvP skill, and there's a similar story there. But there are lots of other PvP YouTubers, and many of them make the same type of content as Dream, for example Wisp or Silver, who both came from the Hypixel UHC community. Now, I'm not saying it hasn't worked for them because they're absolutely massive channels now, but Dream is massive-er. So this leads into the second point, the suspense. Dream's videos tend to be unpredictable. Whereas with most YouTubers you know, oh, he's good at the game, he'll win like he always does, with Dream you really can't be sure. And then he pulls off some insane move like dropping lit TNT through an end portal to spleef his friends into the void and win the challenge. Could anybody see that coming? No, it's inventive, it's creative, it's unique. And going into some of the other responses, pretty much everything I saw matches up with that. One of the other people I talked to was Fav, one of the developers of MC Username, and he agreed with VVK but also expanded on it a bit more. Besides the actual situation going on in the video, it's edited perfectly. Good pacing, good cuts, intense music, everything helps further that feeling of suspense which makes the eventual success or failure worth staying for. It's a big part of the reason why Dream is so big, and it's not really something that anyone else can perfectly emulate. Many have tried, and most have succeeded in getting big to some extent, but I don't think we'll ever have another Dream. Hopefully, after that discussion, it's a bit clearer why Dream is loved, but what's even more interesting is the opposite, why he's hated. It's not necessarily confusing, but there's simply so much to sift through here that it's a pretty much impossible task to actually give every reason. There are definitely a few big ones though, the biggest of which is likely the cheating scandal. For those that don't know, Dream was a professional Minecraft speedrunner and world record holder until the turn of the year, when big names in the speedrunning community began to point out his unusually good luck in runs. It turns out, after 8 long months of drama and investigations and Harvard astrophysicists, he did cheat. Or at least he had an unfair mod enabled by accident during some of his runs if you believe his story, which I personally do, but you're free to disagree. If you want a more in-depth timeline and explanation on the situation, I highly suggest Carl Jopp's video on the Dream speedrunning drama. I don't even really watch his videos, but this one was the most detailed and least biased video I've seen to date. Now, prior to Dream's accusations of cheating, there was definitely still some criticism towards him, but it wasn't very common. It always tended to be the new YouTubers are annoying argument, basically looking back on the Minecraft creators of old with rose-colored glasses. But not only has the cheating scandal itself been an issue, it also served as a catalyst for criticism on most, if not all, of the other perceived flaws of Dream. The cheating itself sort of took a backseat to a much larger discussion on Dream's powerful position in the community and how he used it. This was probably made most evident with the issue of stan culture, or more specifically, toxic stans. While Dream has quietly disavowed these gremlins on many occasions, they're extremely vocal and make up most of the public image of his fanbase, leading to many outside the community thinking that the MCYT fandom is made up of all these insensitive, depraved, weird children that can't tell the difference between right and wrong. And I mean, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of those, but they're present in every fandom and they don't represent everybody. Many people, myself included, think he can take a much stronger stance against his fans that are perpetrating this large-scale harassment of his critics and fellow creators. But it's worth noting that it's harder than it looks. Outside of the fandom, Dream himself is certainly to blame in many cases. The way he handled a lot of speedrunning drama, for example, was, well, immature to say the least. But again, remember, Dream was suddenly thrust into the spotlight at the age of 20. No matter how smart or well-prepared you are, you can't be ready for the level of 
of instant fame that Dream has, and this man's brain isn't even finished developing. He's bound to make more than a few mistakes, and that should be acknowledged, though it isn't an excuse for all of his behavior. I could talk for hours about the parasocial relationships he continues to foster between him and his fans, accidentally or not, or his lack of action when his toxic fans attack others, and so on, but it's really not worth the time and effort. Thousands of other YouTubers have been in my place, let's be honest, videos about Dream are not exactly groundbreaking, and nothing has changed. The only way that I can see him changing is with time, experience, and self-reflection, which are things that only he can control. Well, not time unless he has a time machine, I wouldn't doubt it honestly. But uh, yeah, Dream's not exactly a saint in my opinion, but he's definitely not as bad as people make him out to be. Tell me what you think in the comments, or if it's easier my Discord. Uh, let me know if I changed your mind about anything, or at least helped you to understand the other side. I know this is kind of a different video than usual, I don't plan to make a lot of these, but I just thought it would be nice to give my take on this instead of having the same discussion three times a week. That's really all I've got to say though, so hope you all enjoyed, and have a good one. Peace, peace.